Before you can epoxy anything up, you have to scuff up the fiberglass tubes. Um, and the reason is they're so slick that it, there's not a lot of texture for the epoxy to get its fingers into and lock it down. Um, so we need to scuff up this tube and scuff up the inside of the body tube. Now you need to create a ring up here where the front centering goes. Um, to do that, you're going to need to take a wood dowel and wrap it with sandpaper. And then you can get on the inside and scuff it up. Let me see if you can see that here. So the nice thing about these fiberglass tubes is they're semi-translucent, so you can see where you're scuffing. Okay, and then we're going to scuff up the inside at the very back. And I'm going to wear my respirator because you don't want to be breathing the dust. And then afterwards, you're going to clean it out with uh, some soap and water, uh, again, to get all those little fibers out. And then we're also going to scuff up the, the back and the front of this tube. Just some soap and water in here. Our next step is to take the shock cord and we're going to glue this to the front of this ring, uh, but it has to go through the little notch right there in the ring. Uh, the instructions from Mach 1 also recommend tying a knot in there. And that's to keep it from being pulled back out. So stick it in there like that. And then our back ring going to be glued on right there. Okay, so you're going to need some five minute epoxy for this. And it's not going to take much. Ooh. Should get the bubbles out first. Get the bubbles to float up to the top. Okay, so I got my epoxy mixed up and I'm going to smear. I always like to slide the rings a little bit further down and then slide them up into the epoxy. So I'm just going to slather some epoxy around here, trying not to get too much on the shock cord. Okay, and it's going to leave a fillet. Just smear it around. And you don't really need to worry about fillets at this point because this is um, just really to tack it in place. We're going to put more epoxy into the engine mount section later. Um, and that is really for 
the strength. So right now we're just kind of tacking it in place so it doesn't take much epoxy at all. We do want to make sure that they're not crooked in any way. Okay. Um, if you want, you can epoxy the um, shot cord down to the tube just to keep it from getting in the way. Um, we don't want it to get in the way of our fins because our fins through the tabs are going to come down to the tube and, and if this curls off to the side um, it could make it hard um, just to position things. So if it's nice and straight it's a little bit easier to get those fin tabs in. Alright so the epoxy is applied. Uh, I'm just going to clean up and the next time we'll go ahead and start tacking in the fins.